Oh, man. What a day, dude. Oh, man. You couldn't have had a worse day in your life. You know what I mean? Like, Dude, I know last time, or last time we talked about this, we, you know, trash talk New Jersey. Oh, well, they came through and verified everything for us today. I'm about to absolutely shit on oh, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, uh, I don't know if anybody's gone from uh, New Jersey to Philadelphia, but they got a cover charge to get into the, to that city. Yeah, it costs five dollars to get into Philadelphia. They don't got one to come back in New Jersey though. That's no, the and then it, the and then they sucks. then they charge you fifteen dollars to park at Dave and Buster's. Yeah, that was that was dumb. It was $15. a uh, parking garage, and the parking garage was maybe six foot tall, dude. If you yeah. if you were a normal sized human, you couldn't walk in there. Good thing I'm like five foot nothing, <laughs> <laughs> and even still, like I lifted my arm up at one point, and I could hit the ceiling. I'm like, dude, my arms are like two inches long. How's that even work? They made up your height and dick. That's yeah. what they did. <laughs> <laughs> it's closer to the ground, that's for sure, and it's not because of its size. Out here tripoding it, <laughs> just that short leg syndrome kicking in dude what's crazy is like as the sun started to go down and we we're doing more traveling i feel like more the more potholes come out at night oh and it's crazy so that out here in new jersey they got these things where they put these rugs over these potholes so you can't even see them next thing you know you just hear your fucking rim explode yeah you don't even know you're about to hit dude. it just looks like water like dude. it looks like there's water when, on the road when we was over there by top golf yesterday after we went to the the mall and then we was trying to go to what was it TJ Maxx? Yeah, yeah. We was trying to go there and find like some furniture or something, or no, the Pokemon cards. We were trying. To yeah, we were po- looking for Pokemon cards. We're trying to find Pokemon cards. My wife sent me on a little adventure looking for these. So we w- we went on a magical quest to find these Pokemon cards, mm. and then, uh, so you don't even see anything in the road. He turns his car, and you just hear. <laughs> we're like what the fuck was that where did it come from it's like those deer that just run kamikaze in front of my car out here i no shit thought i popped a tire <laughs> dude it was so hard i didn't see anything either it no. was a well-lit parking lot yeah i didn't see anything and it's not like your lights suck exactly dude i drive a dodge challenger and i'm so low to the ground and yeah. my my lights are so bright like i can see everything and it's do you hear that the fuck is that where's that coming from i do that someone out in the parking lot jamming is that really coming from the parking lot let's, yeah that, let's tell them to turn that shit down yeah i'm gonna shut that window yeah yeah yeah, yeah. who the fuck has a dance party in the someone's out there partying in the parking lot You're out there being an old man. Oh, eh, turn that shit off. You're fucking helping the title of this podcast. Jesus Christ. Yeah, wait a minute. I thought your phone turned on or my computer I, had. Yeah, dude, I thought your computer started playing well, music. And then, and then I thought about it and it was like the only source of audio is right here. I don't have head, head you know, speakers and shit. Dude, you know what it is? We took the Nicolas Cage poster down and now you're fucking places. Oh, duh. Dude, he's pissed off. He's he wants, mad as fuck. He's like, I was the star of the first fucking place, you know, the first episode, and then they fucking fired me. Yeah, we took him. We took him down and replaced him for this king. Yeah, right <laughs> yeah, that's not that's Prince Puggles. <laughs> Prince, that's Prince. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's actually my mom. That's a self portrait she did of herself. Did you draw that? I did. Came out pretty good. Yeah. Did you know, you, oh wait, there's a name right here. What does it say? Chuckles. No, <laughs> that's not what that says. That says, it says says Doc Longfinger. What does it? What does it say? Camel toe. Hieroglyphics. It's, it's Cam- Camille. I don't know. I don't know. I don't yeah, know what well, we found that by chance today. So you're welcome. I forgot what we were talking about. How bad the potholes are in New Jersey. Yeah, dude. Fuck New Jersey. Oh, and then uh, I can see why malls are dying out now too, because. There was nothing cool in that fucking mall. Yeah, so I haven't been to a mall in, like, four years. So I kind of, like, I figured things might have changed. Yeah, but they holy, didn't. Holy shit. They had some good-looking f- food, though. I'll give yeah, them that. No, the food, but, uh, yeah. It's really modern. They just got to start installing strip clubs 
at the mall. Have a little daddy daycare. Da- daddy daycare. <laughs> daddy daycare. You, your wife drags you to the mall and you go and fucking see some titties. There you go. Yeah, that's <laughs> all the- have a little cigar lounge. It's like, you know, where they got the kids' little playground and shit? Oh, yeah. have one for the husbands, the husbands and for the, the daddies. Husbands. They just yeah, drop dude. us off. But no, but you can't tell them. Like, they don't even know what it no, is. No, then it, it, it just, the front of it's a spiel of like, oh, like arcade games or something. And then you get through a little back door. And it's just popping. You got to have a license and like a wedding ring. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have that. Like, or like. You got to have proof. Yeah. You got to prove it. You got to prove it. Yeah. You can't, can't just be, take your word for it. Exactly. That would be cool. That'd he, be really cool. I would never go. No. Even, ga- even gay dudes can come drop their husbands off. That'd any be, listeners Fuck, we there. don't care. Yeah. Have its own separate section or something. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be there or managing it or anything. I don't know if you could put that in a mall though. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a Walmart. Don't <laughs> <laughs> put it right next to the subway. There you go. Yeah. Right next to the pharmacy. Oh, it's right, right next to the fucking, where you go get your eyes checked by some dude that flunked out of medical school. <laughs> you know, they always got an eyeglass place. <laughs> Where'd shit. you get your contacts? Why can't you see? Oh, I got my Walmart. I mean, shit, at least that would be something that would make New Jersey a little bit better. No, I don't think anything's going to make this state it's better a, after so, today. I don't know. Man. Yeah, exactly. So it sounds bad that it sounds like we're constantly shitting on this state, but it seems like every day when we go out and try to do something, the state finds a way to just absolutely piss, piss. Me oh, off. yeah. It it'll, us off. it'll say shit's open. You'll pull up. The door's fucking locked. It, dude, it don't make sense. Yeah. Philadelphia. You, God, that shit pissed me off. The pandemic started in what? Like March? It's been like, like last a, year. Yeah, it's like a year now. Oh, How is Google not fucking updated yet? Why is anyone updating their hours? Yeah. Like if you're closed, you're closed. Like if you have updated hours, get on Google and fucking change that shit. Yeah, nobody, it's the 21st century. This is how people look yeah, shit up. Nobody's going to your fucking website. No, we're going Googling on Google. Shit. That's what the fuck Google's for. <laughs> Update fucking Google. Everybody, get with the program. Everybody fucking knows the rules. Everyone's <laughs> online. Everyone. Like holy shit. God. You try to call the place. No one fucking answers. They tell you their hours over the phone. Even their fucking fax machines are Dude, up to Top date. Golf don't even fucking answer their phone. That pissed no, me off too. That's dumb. They got oh, so they gotta press two for reservations and then it's like, oh just go to the website and make a reservation. No, okay, cool. Why do you even have this fucking feature? Where the fuck do you think I got this phone number from? Yeah, no shit. God. I was trying to make a reservation and you know, y'all motherfuckers are like, Oh, sorry, you can't make one till Monday. I mean shit's the only thing that's open right now. Yeah, so, well, and there's no social distancing there. That motherfucking place was packed. Yeah, there was, was lines. I don't know about today, but yesterday. Out the door. Like, holy shit. And Top Golf, out of all things. <sighs> that's high quality H2O. That's some high quality H2O. That's, that's a Mount Holly's finest right there. Is that the New Jersey special? <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> okay, speaking of New Jersey, you're single, aren't you? Yeah. How's Dayton? <laughs> here in new jersey yeah dude it's real pitiful i kind of gave up on that <laughs> really why dude have you seen the wildebeest out here you've been to the grocery store no no, dude, no just been, look around at the regular i mean I've, lo- I've looked around i've seen yeah dude they don't have a whole lot of my flavor out here either no no you so you miss where are you come from virginia yeah virginia I miss virginia yeah a little bit how was it out there virginia was awesome yeah yeah i mean good until, day until you get catfished yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah dude. I gotta hear this. Oh, I almost got killed by a hoarder. So this was like a long time ago, back in the day, back back when I was in my prime. So uh, I had a balls to eight watch. I get off watch and I'm playing like Kingdom Hearts or some shit. And this chick hits me up. And is like, "Hey, what are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, nothing. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. I'm probably gonna go get breakfast like somewhere." So she's like, "Oh, if you want, I'll go with you." I was like, all right, cool. That's I'll go. Yeah. yeah all right. All right. Ooh. Let me go put my shoes on. Let me take my pajamas off. Put my pants on. <laughs> so that's what I did. I got in my car and I'm wheeling on over there to somewhere in Virginia Beach, you know. And uh so I pull up to the address and it's this shitty ass looking duplex. I'm like, oh fuck, well, I, I ain't gonna judge if someone's outside appearance of the house, you know? Yeah, of course not. Because I've I've seen some like really they look like shitty shit places. Inside and you go inside yeah, and it's like wow. Renovated. Amazing. Yeah. So I shot her text on the app i was like hey i'm outside come out and she's like um uh, she's like i'm cleaning up a little bit do you mind coming in and i was like that's kind of sketchy that's weird i was like okay yeah i'll go i'll go i'll see so i go and knock on the door it takes a minute she finally pulls up the door open and the i, I swung the uh glass it was like a glass door i swung that bitch open and i went to step in and it was real dark in here so my eyes took a minute to adjust 
And then I seen her, and I was like, that's not the same person from the photos, first off. Like, oh, she no. ate the other girl. She was, like, 100 pounds bigger. Oh, no. So I, got, so I don't know why she decided to upload these these photos thinking that, hey, you're not, you know. You're, you're eventually going to have yeah, to meet the person. Yeah, you can't fucking lie in person. So, and then, oh, another thing. There was, that first struck me. And then I looked around the house, and there were boxes of shit just to the ceiling, like hoarders, dude. Boxes of shit everywhere and they had like a little tunnel system a little tunnel system so, oh my god that's disgusting and it kind of dude i should put two and two together but i had to see the rest of the house she pointed to this back room and you're the, already too far in yeah it's like the zoo yeah like, it's like you, a, you just want to keep gotta, going gotta keep going, gotta keep going. so <laughs> uh, this wildebeest was like hey just go hang on that back room real quick i'll clean up and i'll be done so i was like I got to see the rest of this house. If Even if I die for this. The fuck's she going to clean up? I don't know, but I'm about to go tell Jesus. <laughs> so I go back to the room, and it was actually the clean, only room in the house. that Well, I didn't check the other rooms, but it was actually clean. And all they had in there was like some sugar gliders. And you'll understand here in a minute why I keep saying they. So she comes in there, and she starts getting real handsy with me, right? And I'm like, okay, I see where this is going. I do not want any of this. Like no, I want no time to plan your I escape. I want room. no part of this. Hey, hey, stop interrupting the podcast, you fuck. You'll know who that is when you see this, you little fucking... Yeah, sorry, man. We got better things to do. I'm just kidding. That's rude. We love you. Yeah. You're probably shit-housed anyway. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, she couldn't... Yeah, she was getting handsy with me, right? And then she, like, she started getting, like, closer to my moneymaker. And I was like, no, 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 no. Plan the escape route. Plan the escape route. And I, uh, she made this comment. She goes, yeah, this is... Uh, this room's where guests stay. And then me and my husband fuck people in here. Yeah, and I was like, I go, husband, husband, what do you mean? So she goes, oh, yeah, he's in the back sleeping. I'm like, oh, my God, this dude, I'm about to die. So, and they didn't have, like, any photos. Of, well, they probably did, but they were they were behind the boxes of shit. Plus, you don't know which way that's going to go. Is it like you and the husband fuck the wife? Or, oh, you, or is he going to try to fuck yeah, me? Yeah, you all fucking each other. Yeah, like, I'm in her, he's in me. That's not a risk just, he'd be willing to take. No, not at all. <laughs> no, so... Oh, dude. so I was trying to think. I was trying to think the whole time. How do I get us? How do I get us? So I go, oh, I made this comment. I go, oh, it looks like you need to clean up a little more. Obviously, you're not going to be done for a while. So I'm going to go to 7-Eleven and get a soda. I need a sugary drink. I'm pretty tired. So she's like, oh, I got water in the, 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 the you know, the, the refrigerator if you want some. And I was like, no, 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 no. I need, I need a pop. I need soda. So I start, dude, I scurried through the, the little tunnel system. I got that door. Uh, dude, I, the door was a little fucking hard to even open. So I finally got the door out. Beat feet to my car. As soon as I got in the car, I locked the, locked the doors. And I got on the app and deleted and drove home. Dude. Yeah. That sounds fucking awful. Oh, my God. It was horrible. That's, not the, that's not the only chick that got me in Virginia. You got got twice? I got caught. I got, 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 I got got. You got fished twice? I got, I got fished the, when I first got there. I first got a car. I match there's the same scenario chick ate the other chick so i was matched with this chick we're vibing real cool she's like into video games and it's all that cool stuff so i'm like fuck yeah you know you seem like a cool chick in her photo she looked decent and uh she was down in like north carolina which is like only like an hour away not far That's so not too bad. she actually had family in virginia beach so she's like yeah i'm i'm uh dropping something off for my sister uh if you want to go catch a movie i'll be down for that and this was back when uh, that Brad Pitt movie Fury came out. Oh, I remember. Tank yeah, driver. Okay. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so this is like seven years, six, seven years ago. About seven, yeah. yeah. So I, I drive off base, and I drive all the way to this place in Virginia Beach. And the way it's set up, it's like a mall over here, and then a movie theater. And then in the center is like a place to sit and some trees and shit. So she texted me and said, hey, I'm sitting by the trees. Uh, so like when you get here, just let me know. So I was like, all right, no big deal. So I finally pull in fashionably late, of course, because that's the only way to be. And uh, so I walk up, and I'm trying to scout, trying to scout, survey the land, you know? So I'm looking, and I don't see anybody that looks like this person. <laughs> so I was like, all right, here's a surefire way to find them. I got in line, and I sent her a text, and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm at the front of the line. Just make your way over here. So I'm sitting there. And I see this bowling ball get up. This chick was as big around as she was wide. And her throat, she had, like, there's nothing wrong with being fat, but she had, like, it looked like a frog. It was, like, 
this, so she was quite larger <laughs> than what I was expecting. <laughs> so I'm like, I took my glasses off and I cleaned them and put them back on to make sure, you know, my vision wasn't a little fucked. So she started beelining straight towards me. And dude, she was, she was so big. You could have dropped a sandwich by her and it would have gravitated around like an orbital system, oh, like wow. a solar system in the moon. We're talking 600 pound life. Yeah, dude, she was big. And then she started walking towards me and I just turned around and just walked straight to my car and left. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, get yeah dude, out I'm there. out of there. I'm out of there. That's crazy. Yeah. But I mean, Virginia, that area is like over a million people. So you're bound to run into some suspect characters, you know. I'm sure people probably were disappointed when they seen me a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've only been catfished once. Yeah, well, you got to tell it. Yeah, right. no, yeah, Where yeah. This, yeah. I, this is in California. I was fresh in the Navy and like... 18? 19? I was probably about... I think I was 19 at the time. Yeah, I was 19 because I spent the first year just like trying to figure shit out, figure yeah. the military out, whatever. It's like, all right, it's time to start dating. How do I do this? And then I discovered Tinder. And oh, that was that Bumble. Back, Bumble wasn't a thing yet. Was that back when Tinder you could just uh, swipe unlimited? You didn't mm-hmm. have to pay. No, right? yeah, there was no like. Yeah, you just fucking wear that finger out and exactly deal, deal so with the repercussions. You had, you had plenty of fish. At, at a person my age, it was like plenty of fish and Tinder. Yeah, and Tinder seemed to be like that was like the hip thing. It was just was coming up. Yeah, that was the thing. And, and POF uh, has got some. They got shady people on there. Exactly. I, when I was looking on Plenty of Fish, I felt like if I like try to meet any of these people, I probably wasn't gonna make it back home. Oh so. no, dude, you would have. <laughs> you would ended up in prison or dead. Yeah, or in somebody's basement. Yeah. Put the lotion on the skin. Yeah, dude, you'd be fucking. <laughs> you'd be rubbing <laughs> jerkins all over yourself. <laughs> yeah, I took a look at it and I was like, mm, not for me. Not I'm for good. Me. So I decided to use Tender and. Uh, it was going pretty good. You know, I went on a couple dates and it wasn't too bad. It was just no one that I like vibed with. And, yeah, met some good hitters. You know, I never had any issues. Uh, and I'm pretty old. sure at this point in time, you, you can call me whatever you want, but I did not know what catfishing was. Yeah. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't know until it really got popular in MTV. And I didn't know there was a doc- yes, I didn't know there was I a didn't doc- know there was a TV the, show. The, I didn't know there was a documentary or anything. And yeah. Happened to, someone I think was watching it in the barracks. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, and I didn't. Then, uh, I didn't watch it until it happened to me, and I told you know. Yeah, that's that's kind of what happened to me with that first chick, and then I watched it, and I was like, "Yo, you people do this? You know, yeah. you gotta meet." Exactly. Like you just. What I don't understand is like people who like are catfishing someone, and they go such a long time doing it. You figure the other person would eventually just like give up. Yeah, and the thing that sucks too, like dating in the military is hard enough as it is. I don't need you. Like, exactly. Tricking me. You have four. You have four years. Four or five. You have four, four years to years. figure out. Do you want to marry this person? Yeah. Long distance or move the fuck on. Yeah. It's tough. You'd let me know. And sometimes, and that's like if you get lucky and find that person in the first year. Some people go like a couple years without oh, meeting and, that and person. And it really sucks too if you like find someone like right at the tail end and you know you're leaving. And, and they're like, turn out to be like dude, amazing. everything you've ever wanted. And then they're just like, no, nah, I'm not going to go with Yeah, you. I'm not leaving. I mean, which, I mean, you can't ask that of someone you just met. You don't know where it's going. God, dude. But it sucks. Thinking but about that, that sounds suck. shit. That it sounds does. awful. It sounds yeah. fucking horrible. Holy anyway, shit. Anyway, back to your story. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm on Tinder, okay? I'm I'm having a good time, okay? I'm I'm meeting some, which actually, I have another I have another story yeah. about Tinder. You got to you 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 find later. someone that's your level of weird. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I was messaging this chick and... Like through messaging, we were vibing. Okay. Like I vibe with the other girls, but not as much as this. Oh, it was like instant? Instant. And she was super cute. She was, you know, my vibe. So I have nothing against big chicks. I have no. Oh, no, either. I, I, I like me some thickens. Me too. Like, well, I'm, so not, I. Not, not, not like, time, not like POF thick where they're monsters, but like, you know, you got some curves to them. Yeah. I, I don't really have an, like, problem like i don't like discriminate or like i don't oh, no. like Dude, i think ev- everyone's beautiful everyone's everyone but got i do their, have my type everyone's got their flavor okay i'm i was no. like a gym rat at you, the time and know. i was running a lot i wanted somebody who could do these things yeah. with me that's yeah, just yeah. what i wanted not a big deal and she looked like that type of person she, you know a hundred percent like i was like yes when can you meet i have a motorcycle is that okay like that's that was my only transportation and she said she loved bikes and didn't mind getting on the back of one. And I was like, okay, cool. So uh, a couple of days go by and I get a hold of her because I was trying to figure out when the next time I was going to be off so that mm-hmm. we can meet up. And I was like, hey, let's go see a movie. You know, I, she was like 20 minutes away from me. And then there was a movie theater another 20 minutes from her. So I was like, I'll come pick you up. 
we'll go on like a small ride on the bike and then go see a movie. You know, and she's like, all right, cool. You know, see you then, whatever. So I'm driving to her place and I'm still like fairly new to California. I don't know the whole state or my whole area very well. So I don't know the sketchy places and like the yeah. really nice places. Yeah, that's a big area. This was a sketchy place. Like I started like oh. it was nice at first and then it started to get like terrifying. I'm like, dude, I'm in the ghetto. Like what a, the fuck you is in going a spot on? That wasn't for you. Dude, it was scary. So I'm pulling down this road and I heard my phone, you know, I have headphones on because oh, I can't, yeah, because I, I didn't have one of those things on my tank that I could look at the, look at the map. Mm. And I heard the ding like, Hey, you arrived at your destination. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so which one of these trap houses is it? The, yeah. It was bad? like, dude, gated, like barbed <laughs> wire. Like it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, fucking bars on the window. It was, dude, I was already like, I already don't and like this. I have a bad feeling. And you're a kid. Yes. Yeah, 19, scared, terrified. And I was small, too, really small. You little linguini guy. <laughs> and the so... The hadn't got, <laughs> you hadn't got big yet. It's like, Mom, come save me. Come help me with my string bean arms. So I'm like, I, I'm out here. I like this girl. I vibe with her. Let's, Sometimes you got to make a sacrifice. Let's give know, it a shot. So a I shot. got on my phone. I sent her a message. Hey, I'm here. So I wait about, like, I want to say, like, three minutes. I'm on my bike, playing on my phone, whatever. And... This this girl comes walking out. <laughs> you don't seem too sure to know if it was a girl. Not even walking, waddling. 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 Ooh. Waddling out. That's... And she's like walking towards me. And like I said, I don't know what catfishing is. So yeah, I kind of got her... on defense. Like, am yeah. I about to knock a bitch out? Like, am I going to have to fight someone? <laughs> no. Is this her sister? Who is yeah. this? Yeah, who is this person? Uh, is this not... Maria. So I'm in like a fight or flight mode right now because I don't know who this person is because they look nothing like the person I was talking to. And she comes up to me and she says, hey. I said, hello. <laughs> hey. She's hey, like, Nick? Did. And I was like, yeah. She's like, you ready to go? <laughs> I was like, who are you? Uh, can I help you? And she told me her name. I'm not going to say her name. She told me her name. It was and I was Maria. like, oh, hey, what's It was what's probably going Maria. On? So I have like so much confusion, so much. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm just like, uh, hey, can you give me a minute? I got to make a phone call real quick and then we'll go ahead and get going. OK, now I hop off my bike and she's just hanging out by it, playing on her phone. And I like take like 20 steps away. Now, at this point, so many things are going through my head. Uh, the first thing is I'm about to die. And the reason for that is because. I'm a little dude on a motorcycle, and she's at least 350. Oh, you're not even going to be able to hold the bike up. That's what I'm saying. Like, how am I going to make it to the mall? And how, like, I have no time to create a escape route. I have no way. So what I do is I call my friend, and I was like, hey. You hit pineapple? Listen. <laughs> Here's <Yeah>. my safe word. <laughs> I said, listen, I don't know what you're doing, but I need you to come pick me up at this mall. Okay? And if... You don't hear from me in like 30 minutes. I'm probably dead on the highway. Do you have a truck? Call an ambulance. Huh? Do you have a truck? No. You just left your bike? No, I drove it. I drove it with her on the back. 20 minutes on the back of the bike. God. And damn. she was Dude, leaning. Your arms were probably burning. Your, your back tire was probably rubbing. <laughs> yeah, I saw the Reaper like 10 times. She was leaning against me on every turn. And she kept trying to readjust and she, she slid down, like down the seat into my seat at one point in time when I hit the brake. Oh man. Dude, like she a crushed shift. my fucking pelvis, dude. Like my <laughs> balls pushed up against the tank. Oh my God. I was dude. sweating so hard and I was frustrated. I was scared. I mean, this was probably the worst date I've ever been on oh. my entire life. That's terrible. It gets it gets worse though. It gets okay. so bad. How does it get any worse? So I'm young, right? And I don't know how to channel my anger, right? So, oh, so we you, get to the mall and she's <laughs> like, Oh, dude, I told her I would meet her inside. And she started walking in and I was tying up the helmet and I kicked the chain on my bike about a thousand fucking times till it broke so that I didn't have to ride the bike, you know? And when I got inside, I told her, I was like, hey, the chain on my bike broke. So I called a friend and they're going to come hang out with us and then give us a ride back. She's like, OK, that's fine. And my friends decide to hang out with me during the day to try to help me get out of it. 
and this girl's not taking any hints like at all like i'm trying to tell her like i want to leave i don't want to watch this movie i don't want to be anything a part of this and i hope these my friends are watching this podcast because they know they know (laughs) i was so (laughs) mean drop a comment (laughs) i was so mean to this girl i was so rude I feel so, I too like today. I feel so bad. You feel uh, yeah, that's pretty shitty. But in the moment, you, especially in the when moment, you're, you're young. I you was don't, frustrated. You don't know what fucking morality is. Like I, I'm not gonna say any of the things I said to her, but I was definitely not nice. <laughs> Dude, I was not very you were nice probably making her. fat jokes, weren't you? No, no, I wasn't making fat jokes. It was like I think uh, I'll tell you one. So we, she was talking about, or I was talking about uh, my hobbies, like things I like to do. And I was like, oh, I like to run. I like to go to the gym. And she was just like, oh, yeah, I like those things, too. And I was like, well, when was the last time you did it? Like five years ago? Like, <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm, that, an, I'm an asshole. <laughs> she asked me if I wanted to stay when we dropped her off. And I was like, no, oh, shut the door. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, go, yeah, dude, yeah. leave. I'm nah, deleting this dude. shit. She was trying to get some of the prime rib you got over there. I deleted yeah. Tinder after that. Fuck yeah. That like, that ruins it all. It 100% like, ruined uh, it. Like that chick that left the floater in my toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, I, out here. The Scrapple story? Yeah. Oh, dude. So I've never heard the full Scrapple story. All right, so... And uh, this is so everyone knows what Scrapple is. <laughs> so yeah. Now, now you're going to get the inside joke. Episode two, What? why we, I call ourselves the Scrapple boys. <laughs> so, I've never had Scrapple, though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It only takes one idiot to try it, and the rest is indoctrinated. There's no gang membership or anything. You don't have to like, <laughs> eat like three pieces of Scrapple. I didn't even eat one piece. So I mean, All right, so I matched with this chick, and she wasn't really my type to begin with. So... Uh, but like she, she was fun to talk to and I was like, yeah, well, I like texting new people and texting some of my friends gets boring, a bunch of fucking dudes. And, um, so like we text for weeks, weeks, whatever. And I'm like avoiding meeting her. I always make up something like, oh, you gotta work this weekend. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'll be over there fucking playing video games. You know, that's funny. I think that's the best part about the military is like, it's a golden excuse to get out of meeting people and to get out of like dating. Yeah, because you never know when you get off work. Like, you know? if you don't want to go hang out with like a family member or like you don't want to go to a family event, yeah. sorry, can't. Military, military got they, orders. They said they won't, they won't approve my leave. I got shit to do. So, <laughs> it sounds so shitty, but it's so true. Anyway, so where I live, there's nobody comes to this town to do anything because there's nothing here to do, like nightlife wise. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So it's a small town. Uh, I mean, it's from like 1677. So the only thing they really you see is to go see the old architecture and like maybe some restaurants. It's not there's not you're not coming here to party. Basically, is what I'm getting at. So she si- shoots me a text super late at night, and she's like, uh, <laughs> she goes. Um, I'm in your area. Do, do you mind if I come over? And I was like, oh, fuck, man. I was like, all right, yeah, cool. Come over. We'll hang out for a little bit. And then I don't even know if she like fucking found where I lived or something, but she was here in like five minutes. And this is same building. Maybe. I don't know. I don't That's know. Kind of yeah. It was, it was really weird. Really weird. Cause I know your area and there's not a lot of places. No, you don't, you don't even see my building. It's like not all, you don't see it on the road. Yeah. So, she shows up and, you know, you have to have the key fob to get in mm-hmm. or text, put my number in, but she didn't have my phone number. So I had to go down and let her in because the building's secure. Do that. And when I see her, I was like, damn, she's already bigger, bigger in her photos. So I was like, this sucks. So we get back here and I'm trying to watch like TV and like chill. And then she's just fucking being annoying. Well, she ends up fuck, <laughs> fucking falling asleep here. On like Wait, my, what? Yeah, she fell asleep here. I, like, I couldn't get rid of her. So the next morning, <laughs> I get up, and she's still here. And I'm like, God damn it. Go the fuck away. So uh, she's like, oh, yeah, I don't know if you remember last night, but you told me we'd get breakfast in the morning. And I was like, well, I wasn't drinking, so I don't know how that – I don't remember. <laughs> if I said it drunk, it don't count. Uh, if I, I, don't wasn't, I wasn't drinking. Oh, you weren't? No, I was sober. So I was like, what the fuck? Okay, I was like, whatever. I'll, whatever, I'll go. If it gets you away from me. So <laughs> I, I go, get on the Google and I find this place like right around the corner. It's got 4.7 stars. So I was like, fuck it. Five minutes away. Let's go. Hop in my car. And then she's making like comments like, oh my God, your car is so fucking nice. How do you drive this? This thing's so nice. I mean, yeah. She was like oozing over my car. 
I'm like, oh, yeah, Jesus, you know, I got a job. So, <laughs> <laughs> so try to get one. I drive, I drive the five minutes over to this place and I bust a bitch to park and it's next to, I didn't even know these things existed. It's next to a washer and dryer dealership. So there's just like an old building hitched up next to it that just sells washers and dryers. And it doesn't look like a place you would buy a washer or a dryer. And it's right next to a river that had like condoms and trash and shit all in it. What the fuck? Yeah, it was real fucking weird. So I roll up in there and the inside of this place was actually pretty nice. The The door was old and shit. So I wasn't, you know, like I didn't know what to expect. We get in there, get sat down immediately. Well, at first, you know, you know, usually when you go to a place, they have like, hey, please wait to be seated or seat yourself. Mm -hmm. So when you go in there, there's no fucking instructions. And I finally would just like, I seen a spot and I just walked over to it and sat down because I got tired of standing there. So we're looking at the menu and I'm a creature of habit. I, once I find something I like or know what I like, I always get that. And I oh yeah, dude, I, me I, too. I don't try the rest. No, of the me menu. too. I'm too fu I'm too fucking old. Yeah. Like I don't have time to start I don't, trying new shit and fuck my gut up. So I, I was like, here, you can look at the menu. I'm a, I know I'm getting biscuits and gravy. I love that shit. So Ew. whatever. I don't like biscuits and gravy. Well, you wouldn't like these, that's for sure. So anyway, she orders like fucking half the menu. And then <laughs> really? she's like, yeah, she ordered like eggs, bacon. Yeah, but dude, like all this shit. There's no way you could I mean you probably could have guessed that, but I've seen like little chicks do shit. Oh, like I've that. seen people that can throw food down, but I was just like, yo, how much is this gonna fucking cost me? Oh yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, You've been I'm, trying to get rid of this bitch yeah, now you gotta buy her the food. Fucking and then she looks Oh dude, she roped you in. That's what she did. She I roped think, you in to get think, free breakfast. I think that's what it was. She fucking got you. Yeah. Got God. I got got you. Got got. But just remember, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. So and <laughs> this was her, wasn't it? Yeah, the king of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so uh, she then her, she's like looking through the menu for something else. She's like, oh, scrapple. Yes, you gotta have scrapple. <laughs> and I was like, what? Who the fuck names a food scrapple? Isn't that like a Yahtzee term? Yeah, I thought it was or, no, it's scrabble. Not. Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm that gonna fucking board game. Put some board tiles down. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I was like, That's okay. a seven letter word, yeah. dog shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so the waitress finally comes and takes her order and then she orders that shit. And then she's telling me about it. She's like, don't look it up. You don't want us to look it up. So <laughs> that should tell you right. That there, tells me you all. You shouldn't fucking eat it. <laughs> that tells me all I need to know about this prison food. So she, that reminds me of those camel balls. Listen, it tastes like shit. You got to try it. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, how's that even? <laughs> what? Just because you suffer, don't make it's the, like the most counterductive or counter whatever. Productive. Fucking, yeah. yeah. You know, like what the fuck? So, okay. So time goes by and then like, she's trying to talk to me and I'm just on my phone. You know, I was like, not in, I was just not there. So finally the food comes. They, oh my God, they brought out all this food, put it in front of her, brought my biscuits and gravy. And then they sat down this shit that I thought was like some burnt hash browns. I was like, well, what the fuck is that? And she goes, oh, that's Scrapple. <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. So I, I, I took a fork and I broke into my biscuits and gravy and started eating it. So I took one bite and it tasted horrible. Dude, it tasted really? so bad. Like it was so bad I took. Maybe two more bites, so three total, and I I set it to the side. I didn't want to eat it no more. So she's over there devouring it, and then she's like, "Oh, you want to try this scrapple?" And I was like, "Not really, but okay." <laughs> so she takes and fucking shakes up the ketchup bottle and smears it all over there, and then takes a, a butter knife and smooths it out. And then she takes her fork and breaks off a piece of this shit and forks it. And before I knew it, she had it damn near in my nostril. <laughs> she force fed you. Yeah, so this I smelt it, and it smelt like. Uh, sweaty feet. It smelled like sweaty feet or like a jock strap when you get done football practice. It smelled bad. And then she just shoved it in my mouth and I'm eating it and I go, what the fuck? I was like, that shit tastes like ass. She's like, what? No, Scrapple's great. I was like, you guys are high. You guys are high. I was like, you guys eat this out here? I'm telling you, dude, it's like Mad and, Max out here. Well, get, get this. She goes, yeah, you can only get it in this area. And I go, I could fucking see why. Yeah. I eat real food. They only make it in this yeah, area. Yeah, because I don't, only retards out here could eat that shit. Oh, it's so bad, dude. So then I got on my phone and I got to looking it up. And it's a fucking congealed mush of like all the shit they don't, they don't even want to put in a hot dog. So it's like all leftover scraps from pigs. And they like put it all up in there and grind it up and make it into like a, a congealed loaf and fry it. It's the Amish. It's an Amish food. 
the Amish eat that shit. That sounds horrible. It was. Oh, okay. So then story doesn't end there. So then we come back to my place and she's like, uh, do you want to watch like one episode of like letter Kenny before I leave or something? And I was like, if it gets you out of here, yes, yes, I will. So we get up here, get sits on my couch. And then I didn't even get Hulu up. And she's like, if you want, I know you, you're busy today. If you want, I got to use the bathroom. If you want me to leave, let me know. So she went to the bathroom and she come back and she said, reiterated it. She goes, yeah, if you want me to leave, I'll leave whenever. And I was like, yeah, um, is now a good time? And she goes, what, are you serious? I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, you got to leave. I got shit to do. So I walk her down to her car, give her a little hug, get her the fuck away from me. She gets in her car. I get in my car and I drive off, right? So I watch her leave. She goes the other way. I go around the block over there by the fucking Death Valley Road where all them whoopies are. So I went, I went around the block and come back and parked and went back inside and got on my, on uh league of legends. And then, uh, like 20 minutes goes by, right? I was like, damn, I got to piss. So I get up and I walk in the bathroom and I lift up the toilet lid and there was a giant monster can <laughs> sized turd. Yeah, she <laughs> left a floater. She left a floater in my toilet. Wait, wait, there was just a turd. So there's no toilet paper that I think there was some underneath, but I, I don't know. I underneath? really don't. I don't she know. Pre wipe it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I didn't see any. I just seen a giant turd. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Who the fuck does that? People from Pennsylvania. Who does that? And I, and then like the odor hit me. And I was like, oh my God, what is that? You know? And then you've seen my toilet, dude. That thing sucks down like a fucking airplane. It's oh like, yeah, dude. It's intense. It's a turbo truck. You don't want to be sitting on that toilet no, and give it a pre flush. No, I would have suck a fart right out of your ass. <laughs> You'll lose your fucking yeah. testicles on so, that. And I didn't even think that thing. <laughs> 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 that's why. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you had to let that one marinate, huh? <laughs> it just hit me. Yeah, you had That's to let that one marinate. <laughs> Sitting there. <laughs> what would that even sound like? <laughs> yeah, you know when Marv's getting electrocuted on the Home Alone, Home Alone. Too, And he's <laughs> that would be you on that toilet while it sucks your nutsack clean off. <laughs> and turds coming out. Half your fucking pink sock right Yeah, yeah half your intestines will be hanging down in the septic system. God. <laughs> Yeah, that was one of the that was one of the things. I hope she watches this fucking bitch. That's one of the <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that's put me off from dating out here. Other than there's too many fucking white women. <laughs> that's why I'm happy to be married. Yeah, I don't have to fucking yeah, deal dude, with that just, shit anymore. You just you just have to go home. You know, that's, that's all I have to do. You keep her happy, pay your bills. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's fucking, it's great. Yeah, dude, but it's like some people complain about it. I know I complain about it. Dude, there's parts of me I'm getting to the point in my life where it's like, all right, I got to stop sitting around here and just fucking playing video games. Maybe I should find someone. But then there's another part of me is like, damn, you're still young. Yeah, let's sit around and play fucking video games. You know, it but, sucks. Is dating is just going to get worse. It is, and yeah, because then I'm basically in stepdad territory. So I'm either going to luck up and find someone that doesn't have kids like me, or I'm going to be taking care of someone's <laughs> son. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so. Dude, Nick Cage needs to chill the Yo, fuck what? out. Dude, we're haunted. He's getting mad as hell. How are you going to do that to my boy, Buddha? My boy, Buddha. How are you going to do that? Damn. You can't be traking down this. Dude, that's fucking our sponsor. Hey, Nick Cage, don't be a dick. Hey, fucking Nick. Chill out. Your career's making a comeback. Why are you so disgruntled? You know, you know Mandy's a great movie. Fuck. I got to tell you, dude. Being a stepdad, because that's that's where I'm at. That's the territory. It's not a bad. That's the territory yeah. I stepped in. No, it's fine. It's, it's not great. a bad gig. I had, I had some great stepdads in my life. The thing is, like, it's I love really my dad. real dead though. It's really weird, like raising a kid that's not yours, and it, it not in the way that you would think. It's because their personality is like so different, you know. Because I have a daughter who's mine, and yeah. her personality is just like mine, and it's like it's easy. Right, like because yeah, I get know, along with her, I know right. exactly what she needs, what she wants, how to handle her, or whatever. But my son, man, his personality is just like like on the opposite spectrum of mine. And I'm gonna tell this story because I think it's like gross and funny as fuck at oh, the same time. I like to laugh. Oh yeah, dude. So me personally, I'm I'm a clean freak. Like oh, I'm yeah. I'm borderline germaphobe. <laughs> yeah. I won't touch door handles. I gotta wash my hands a hundred thousand times you a day. You don't like uh nasty shit in your fridge i don't like nasty shit i don't like nasty like i don't like germs i hate germs so 
the other day it came to me and my wife's attention that my son hasn't been wiping his ass after taking a poop <laughs> he poops and doesn't <laughs> wipe his butt how old is he he's eight Oh man, that kid, he's just trying to get back on the video games. He's not wiping his ass. He ain't dude. got 30 seconds to toilet. Like, he ain't got 30 seconds for cotton now. No, I guess not, dude. I, I didn't, under, I don't like. Charmin, what do you, you use a military grade toilet paper for that boy? What do you got? Uh, what? What do you mean? He don't, maybe he don't want the sandpaper on his ass. I mean, who gives a fuck? Wipe your ass. <laughs> yeah. Who gives it? I wipe my ass with a leaf before I yeah. fucking choose not to. <laughs> your luck would be poison ivy. <laughs> like, are Break you fucking out. kidding me? I'd, yeah, I'd rather fucking L- uh, lose a sock. But I guess he was complaining about his asshole being itchy. And it's like, that's why. Well, yeah. It's like, wipe your ass. Why aren't you wiping your ass? Oh, I forgot. How do you, you forget? forget? It. How do you forget? <laughs> that's the first thing you do and when you get up. Or, people or will say, well, sit he's, down he's a child. He's eight. You learn how to wipe your ass when you're three. Like, <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing this for a while. Yeah. Like you got, I mean, people start doing it for you. So then you're like, okay, well, you know, this is kind of how this works. Yeah. It's just weird. But that's what I mean. Like he's just on the opposite side of the spectrum of me. I love him to death though. He's funny as hell. I got him to flip off my entire command once. <laughs> I taught him how to get, I taught him how to give the finger. Oh, did and you? I took him to my work and I made him flip everybody off. I was like, Hey, show them what, show them what I showed you. And he was just walking around freaking. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, I taught him. So I taught him at work. Right. And we get home and uh, oh, my mother-in-law is at home. Oh, no. Yeah. And she he runs up. So he's like five or six at this time. He runs up to her. and He's like, hey, you know, grandma, guess what dad showed me? And she's like, what? And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he's like sitting there doing that and she's like oh stop that don't do that don't oh, do that shit. and he stops right and she like looks away and then he like gives a smirk and goes hey grandma and she looks over and he goes <laughs> dude dude that's funny as I'm fuck i'm sitting there dying my wife's red as fuck oh she's at probably me. so she's pissed, pissed dude. oh she's mad dude, as hell you weren't getting no butt that night no hell no <laughs> you didn't get no. no butt i got in a lot of trouble for that but yeah it was you were on the it. couch for about a month <laughs> it was worth it it was so funny i mean holy shit like the things you can make kids do like, oh yeah they're, dude they're real impressionable it's so they're like funny. A, a piece of like a play-doh dude you can just mold them into whatever mm-hmm. you want but you got to be careful you got to like it's like little bits if you do yeah. too much and then it kind of like sticks with them and then they yeah, take yeah, it to school you, and then you're getting a call from the teacher yeah you don't want no fucking jeffrey Dahmers out here so you fucking holy you gotta, shit yeah you gotta throttle that <laughs> yeah you gotta throttle they went from zero to a hundred hey <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that dude had some weird shit going you ever on in his seen childhood. That, yeah, you ever seen that documentary? Or not documentary. What was it? It was like a show, My Friend Dahmer. You ever seen that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I okay. think I need to. So, I don't I, know. I like true crime shit. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I don't know who decided to make that fucking movie, but they messed up. They messed up. Why? It's like... So, it's like the whole story about his life, but not about, like... Not the shit he did. Not the killings. Yeah, that's a, That's what he's known for. Not for fucking that's what I'm saying. Like, killing animals as a child. Like, don't get me wrong; it's a tragedy. It's it's horrible. But when I yeah, see a movie about Jeffrey bitches. Dahmer, dude, I want to see some twisted shit. Because wasn't he fucking dudes and eating? Yeah, them? he's fucking dudes and eating them. That's fucked up. That's yeah. savage. That's, the man's gonna give you some butt, and then you're gonna eat him. That's ruthless. <laughs> Dude, that just reminded me of a joke. Someone told me where Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, where did Jeffrey Dahmer dump his last boyfriend in the toilet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, okay, get back on track. Get back on track. We're going to run down. We're going down a Patreon path here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you just got a taste. So when we have a Patreon, you can hear shit like that. You have to pay to hear shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we don't give that shit. Well, we gave it a little free sample. That's yeah. advertising right there. I'm going to take that joke back. So Fucking hit re- I'm going to mute that. I'm going to make sure I mute that out so no one can hear yeah, it. You like, That's a fucked up joke, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, you hear that joke, and then you just beep. <laughs> and then it's like, hey, man, you got to pay three ninety nine a month for that. <laughs> a little, a little, you're you're going to get prompted to pay a certain amount. You got to donate money yeah. to hear this joke. It's not even a good joke. It's yeah. kind of messed up. It's about it's about as good as this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but so no, we're doing all right. That's the military though. Like the military will do that to you. Oh, they dude. put twisted you hear some twisted. You see some stuff. people that like they'll come in and they're like little like women especially. They'll be like little angels, you know. Never did anything in their life and then by the time they get out of the airframe shop they're fucking ruthless savages. Oh my god. <laughs> you're just like and they'll say some shit to you, you're just like, God damn. 
Yeah. Who, who hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, that's a, that's a, oh, you know, and cussing. I'm going to say that too. for Patreon. I'm going to say that. You'll, see, you'll have people that never cussed in their life, and before long, every other word is fuck. There's someone, I, actually, there's someone we work with who's like that. I know. Never curse. Never curse. A day in her life, and then just one day, snapped. Like, something broke. 100 percent it's crazy it's sad to see but it's also kind of funny it is great it's so funny bless her heart yeah she was doing so well i know because if you're one of those people and you're in the military and you don't cuss you're a fucking unicorn you're like you need praise you can put that should put that on your eval there was actually i now that i think about it there was actually one person my last command who actually never cussed like ever try to get her to but try to piss her try to piss her off enough honestly good for her i didn't like her so I wanted, I wanted to break her. I wanted to break her. Jeez, what she, what she do to you? She cost us five hundred, half a million dollars. She throw a scribe in the trash. Dude, shut the fuck. <laughs> That's not funny. What she do? Half huh? a million dollars? No, we had this. Uh, we had this like test bench or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, yeah. So we had to we had to test some gear. I can't really say what we were doing, but we had to test some gear and. Uh, she was new. She was like really new. And uh, me and this other person were like the only ones who knew like how to do, you know, the job mm-hmm. or whatever. And we told her to wait. But, you know, these fresh new second classes, fucking four year second classes, man, they don't know how to just be patient. They think they're fucking gods of the Navy. I'm not getting paid for it, but I earned this position. Yep. <laughs> so she decided to go hook up this, you know, $35,000 piece of gear to a... $2.5 million piece of testing equipment and she hooked it in backwards and it blew up. Oh no. Luckily it didn't like damage it like a whole lot, but still I half mean, a million. Half a million dollars. I could afford to have that in my bank account yeah. right now. So I'd be a lot happier. So this happened I'd and it was the, free. yeah, I, right. Yeah. I thought about taking some shit from there because like there'd be like these little things that they just throw in the trash and they're like $40,000 worth of equipment. It's like, what the, why the fuck? That's why the fucking military budget is so expensive. We're just throwing yeah. shit away. No, they're buying shit made that, out of gold when fucking this works just as good. And, they, and like a one fact, fucking Phillips head screw is like thirty fucking dollars. Yeah. I mean, you can go to Home Depot and get a fucking flat of them for that. It's contracts, man. They're just contracts. Yeah, people. That's the shitty these, part. These fuckers out there hooking their buddies up. Yeah, dude. I, that's beyond me. Yeah, I don't know how that system works. I don't care. I, no. As long as I keep getting my little piddly ass pittens every two weeks, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> First and the fifteenth, baby. But hell, they can't even do that right up here. Yeah, they got that one check. It was like three hundred and sixty bucks. I was like, you know, rent's like eleven $1, hundred around here, and well, that's cheap. Mm-hmm. Like, where's the rest of my money? Yeah, I should probably should have just. I should probably should have got a house or some shit. But yeah, I don't give a shit. I don't care. No, you know what? You know what? Though I'm ready for the fucking spring. Yeah. I'm ready to go fishing. I'm, yeah, I'm ready to shit. get. I'm ready to get out of this freaking this snow shit. Oh my god! So, uh, this weather out here has been well. Fuck everywhere. Look at Texas. But uh, oh yeah, Texas got hit with yeah, a lot of snow. Yeah, they're fucked. Dude, up. four what, fucking years. I was there for four fucking years. Never seen any snow. Yeah, because it then doesn't that snow in Texas. That's why. So now, yeah, it shut down. That's why gas is so fucking high. It shut down all the. Look at that shit, Nick. Nick. Nick Cage, dude. You need chill, to chill the fuck chill out. The fuck Calm out. down. God damn! That's so fun. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, whatever. It's on the bottom. It doesn't matter. So, uh, fucking. Uh, there ain't nothing wrong with being on the bottom. Saying some. <laughs> <laughs> fucking God, asshole. God, you. Yeah, someone is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had the snowstorm, and me and this guy, we're trying to watch the UFC fights, and th- this motherfucker, he doesn't eat. Or no, we that's what, when we ate O'Connor's and had that you had the gristled ass fucking wings, so you were hungry. Yeah, well, yeah, I didn't get any fucking food. <laughs> yeah. When you order ribs, you, you know, expect like a rack. Uh, all or they gave him was the cartilage part of the rib. They didn't. Get <laughs> they gave me the end piece. So we were starving, and I hadn't made it to the grocery store because I'm a lazy piece of shit. So I didn't really have a whole lot of food. I just had like you know kindergarten shit, like chicken nuggies and stuff. <laughs> and this guy's like, I don't want that. You and, fucking twelve years old. And he's like, I'm. I'm about to go drive somewhere and get some food before the storm blows in. Because it started, like, we come out of O'Connor's and it was like a blizzard out of nowhere. So it took us like 30 minutes to get back to my place and it's like a 10 minute drive. Yeah, the rain, the bad. rain was uh, icing yeah. as it hit the windshield. Yeah, so we fucking, we made it back alive though. And then, um, yeah. so I was like, well, if you want, 
there is Pizza Hut, like or not Pizza Hut, Papa John's, right like right over there. We can go get that, get a pizza, yeah. and then start these, watch these UFC fights. Like the main card starts in like a little bit, so we had time. So we ordered pizza, and we go outside, and it's fucking black ice everywhere. Yeah, everything was iced over. It was a skating rink. Skating rink. And then we're like, so we're not, obviously, like, it's so close. We're not going to drive. We're going to walk. No. There's, even if we did drive, there's no way we're going to get out of the fucking parking lot. We couldn't get out. Dude, we would have totaled the car. So uh, we start walking up this this mountain, this hill of ice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Through through the lollipop (laughs) forest. (laughs) He took us through the goddamn trees. So we're walking through these trees. And And every step is about to Not even that. Before we before we could even get to the the hill, like you were Cupid shuffling around. You you take a step (laughs) (laughs) You're like try you try not to fucking bust your ass every fucking four feet. I was looking like Walter Cronkite. (laughs) I still got the video. That was fucking hilarious. So we fucking get up there. You take us through the goddamn forest you need some fucking skis for that yeah. shit <laughs> yeah trying to get some fucking papa john yeah so we get oh so we get up there and we're through the snow after we get through the fucking forest of trees and then we break we break around by this fucking dumpster and dude you, you I about split he, my ass i don't off. even think you put weight on that foot yet and you no. were you were split it up no there was like so there was like a pile of there was the dumpster <laughs> and then there was a pile of snow and I went to step over the the pile of snow onto like the concrete, like completely forgetting what we just went through in your parking lot, yeah. like on pavement. Yeah, because you're not expect you can't see it. And my ass just went up, dude. I split like a wishbone, just <laughs> fucking whoop, <laughs> make, make a wish. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. So, so then we we're fucking. Then I come up with the sweet method where I shuffle my feet, and it, <laughs> it was getting it. We oh there, man, <laughs> it's just sitting there like freaking, just like my, this is my feet. I was burning rubber. Dude, it was so good. Hey, it worked though, didn't it? Yeah, it <laughs> but did. you looked over. <laughs> you look over and you go, what the fuck are you doing? And I was oh, like, I'm trying God. to live. That's what I'm trying to do. And I, I was like, look, it works. Try it. So then you tried it and you're like, oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> so Let's give her a little scoot. So we <laughs> we scooted all the way to Papa John's. Got in there. Got, got, like our, five minutes. got our pie and some of these fucking stuffed jalapeno things. Oh, so those were so good. They were, dude. They had some kick. Yeah, they, they, they were seeds in there. I don't, I don't know if those were jalapenos. Well, I was fucking sweating. Those were like habanero hot, dude. I've uh, had yeah. some. Oh man, those are spicy. Yeah, those got me. Yeah, dude. You know you're old when you're fucking. You're like, oh, you got that heartburn. Yeah, like, yeah. Fucking burning Where's the that fucking... shit up. <laughs> Where's the milk? God, <laughs> get some Pepto. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we, we fucking. Then we had to come back, and I found a, a way better path. And we so we get down there, and uh, we we fucking make it back in alive. But that's not the worst part. We had to go back outside to get some shit. And and the, oh my god! And so the ice got way worse. Way like worse. It, was, it was like beyond the point so of walking on it. He uh, we got something out of his car, and I fucking I I put my foot down on the the cement from the back of that whatever. And I don't even think I had weight on it. And all I knew was I was looking at the sky and my, my fucking ankles were at my ears. They were next <laughs> to my eardrums. And it was so icy and it's at an incline like this. So all you see is my little fucking faggot ass squirting down. <laughs> Just sliding down. It's like someone came through and fucking Zamboni the yeah, fucking the, parking lot. And this fucking dickhead's trying to talk shit. And next to the guy, no, I'd, all I see is his feet in the air. <laughs> Dude, what sucks is I went, I went face first. Face I slipped, first. I slipped forward and yeah, fucking you, landed on my chest. You were about to have no I started, teeth. Yeah, I slid down right <laughs> behind you. Yeah, come and met me. And oh we, man, we got up and then I don't I, even know how we made it. So we know. made it to the car, but coming back, we probably ate crap about oh my god five times. One of them, one of them, uh, like the last one right before I fucking made it to the grass. I I slipped. And I bounced my head off the concrete hard. Yeah, it was so bad. I had to, I fucked up my back so bad. I go see a fucking chiropractor, <laughs> dude. I did. I was hurting. I was fucked up. Really? Yeah, dude. I messed my wrist. Up. I mean, it healed my up, hand, but my fucking palm. I didn't know you could I, get a bruise. I don't on think. Your palm. Can you see that? Yeah, that's still from that from eating shit. I didn't think you could like bruise a palm, but I yeah, my palm. yeah, like my hands, were, dude. And like the I I don't know how I forgot, but like the next day I kind of forgot about eating shit. And I went to scratch my back, and I was like, "Oh, what the fuck? That hurts! I had bruises all over me mm-hmm. from 
from yeah, eating dude, it. My knees look like I worked my way up to second class all over again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you how I got these EPs. You want to know how I made rank? You, you want to know how I lost my gag reflex? Let me let me show you my knees real quick. Let me show you how I lost my gag reflex. Dude, my phone is blowing up. Hey, you motherfuckers. Next time you, you know I'm doing a podcast, don't be fucking texting me. I'm just kidding. Y'all can text me whenever you like. I'm not very popular, so I don't get a lot of messages. Yeah, well, it's usually the same idiots trying to tell me something stupid, but I love them. They're yeah. my boys. Girl, I love it. You fucking gang. hate them. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> the Scrabble boys. All right, well, we've been recording for about an hour, so probably go ahead and wrap. What does that set say? I don't. It says 50 something minutes. All right. Let's go ahead and wrap this shit up. All right, that's your job because you're last in the banner because you suck. <laughs> all right, shut the fuck up and let me talk. <laughs> all right. Hey, all right. Never you mind. ready? Yeah. You ready? I'm going to wrap this shit up. All next right. episode, Wednesday. Wednesday. So stay tuned for that next podcast. Uh, we're on Spotify now. so it, Yeah, that's cool. I make figured, sure you get that downloaded. I, we're on YouTube like subscribe come on get on with it I, it took me a while to figure out how to get on spotify so you better be fucking grateful when yeah, you're in your dude, car get on there i did I had to create like two websites and then link them to a spotify account so that's a lot and then you had to find out what kind of special kind of websites and then i had to copyright the show that sounds horrible yeah but i got it done all for you how many facebook likes are we at right now uh, on that uh post that post, oh, fuck. Let me do some. Re- God damn, twenty nine. Oh, uh, Instagram. Follow us on Instagram too. The broken script. Yeah, please and thank the you. The Instagram isn't doing that well. I mean, it just came up. Yeah, I had to fucking. I ain't worried about it. Now. The YouTube just came up too. All right, let's see what the fuck is going. God, that picture's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's at nine hundred and twelve. 912. Let's get that over a thousand. Let's get that yeah. over a thousand. I think we could do it. That's pretty good for a first episode. That's a yeah. lot better no, than that's most not people bad. do. I see some YouTubers that fucking don't even get that. Yeah. I think it'll keep going. I think it'll keep going. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Uh, next episode, Wednesday. I already fucking said that. God, God damn stop it. Stop repeating yourself, you old God fucking man. God damn it, dude. Old fucking man. My old fucking brain just can't keep up. Uh, Yeah. So I'll see you all next time, or we'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.